And the man who ran Arizona's health department for six years says the governor needs to do more to stop the spread. And a Pima County leader agrees with him. Nine Years says Craig Smith has the story. Governor Ducey conceded the surge in COVID cases since he eased restrictions in May has been tough. He announced programs to channel more resources to hospitals, increase testing, and hold restaurants to half their normal indoor capacity. And he says he sees some signs the rise is beginning to level off. But some local leaders say the virus surge calls for more of a clampdown. In a telephone news conference, Pima Supervisors Chair Ramon Valadez says two weeks ago, Pima County jumped from 277 new cases per week to more than 2300. That is a wake up call for everyone in Arizona, everyone in Pima County, except apparently our governor, who simply doesn't get it. Will Humble led Arizona's health department from 2009 to 2015. He says the governor made good decisions early in the outbreak, but reopening in mid May and opening wide led people to behave in ways that ballooned case counts so high that to find bed space, Arizona's had to shuffle patients between hospitals and sometimes move them out of state. Humble said hospitals need more space, staff, and supplies, and need not just more tests, but much faster test results. And the contact tracing folks get the data eight, nine, ten days after the patient was 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 uh, where the specimen was collected, and so they've already exposed their coworkers and roommates and family members. And the contact tracing is done after the fact when it can't be effective. But in his news conference this week, Governor Ducey recognized the criticism and said he's looking out for Arizonans, not acting to please the press or to play politics. I've talked about protecting lives and protecting livelihoods. And when in doubt, we will err on the side of protecting lives. Craig Smith, KGUN 9, on your side.